Welcome everyone, I have a special surprise for you. Today we have a double bro feature with my buddy Tim Thibitabow. Tim Thibitabow? I never could pronounce his last name correctly. Anyways, first I'm going to show you my turkey taco mixture, which is an absolute staple in my bulk diet. Then we'll go on over to Tim's place and we'll check out his meal. Roll footage. Dude, I f***ing nailed that. Alright, so here's what you're gonna need. A strainer, one cup, fourth cup, and a can destroyer. Then you're gonna need to get some ground lean turkey. The macros on this are immaculate. 8 grams of fat to 21 grams of protein. Then you're gonna need some chili powder, whatever salsa you want to choose, and then you're just gonna need some black beans, boy. Take that lean ground turkey, plop it into a frying pan, mash it up, mash it up, mash it up. Mash it up oh and did I mention you gotta mash it up then you're gonna break open the black beans throw them in your strainer my bobber and then you're gonna do something I like to call washing the diaper mm -hmm. gotta get all that poop out of the black beans cuz you don't want that poop in your mouth and if I can tell you one thing it's that black bean poop does not taste good next you're gonna measure out a cup and a fourth cup of salsa you're gonna top that with chili powder use as much chili powder as you like I like a lot. Use a ton, trust now me. Now mix your turkey around so that all of it is completely cooked before you do this next step. You're gonna drop that cup and fourth cup of salsa in there. Then you mix that in there, let it cook for a second. Drop your black beans in there. Black this is where beans, the magic happens. Bitch. And you're just gonna mix that all in there. It's been proven that everything tastes better after you dance while you mix it. Don't poverty cook your tortillas in the microwave, brothers. Throw it on an open flame and get it nice and brown on each side. Now you can probably guess what's going to come next. No You're going to construct your burrito. Now you can throw lettuce, tomatoes, onions, whatever you want to in there. But even this stuff just by itself is absolutely delicious. Now you're going to take a big bite of that burrito and flex for the camera like a giant douchebag. Now the best part about this stuff is that it tastes even better after it's been cooled down and heated back up in the microwave. So throw it in a container and toss that container into the refrigerator. This is so easy to use at any time because you can just pull it out, throw in a tortilla, microwave it, and you're done. Now you know how to make my bulking burrito, but what if you're in the mood for something a little bit more saucy? You know who's the sauce boss? This saucy slut is. Over to you, Tim. Oh, oh my god. Brian, I am so sorry, but, oh, jeez. Thank you, Brian, for featuring me on your channel. What's going on, guys? My name is Tim from Tim Thibodeau Fitness, and I've got a little recipe for you. If you love pizza, but it doesn't quite fit in your macros, just stay tuned for the next minute, minute and a half. I might be able to help you a little bit. Okay, guys, for this simple recipe, all you need is one whole wheat tortilla wrap, two servings of fat-free cheese, one serving of turkey pepperoni, some Walden Farms tomato and basil sauce, and a quarter cup of spinach. First things first, you're going to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Next, you're going to take a sheet of aluminum foil and just spray it down with some cooking spray. Be gentle with thy wrap and lather it up with as much or as little sauce as you'd like. Next, you're going to take half of the cheese and just spread it around the wrap for a nice, solid, cheesy base. You know we can't forget about our micronutrients, so just take all that spinach and spread it around the pizza. Take the remaining cheese and just spread it around the pizza for another layer of melty goodness. And the final step, just take the pepperoni and make sure you cover every inch of the pizza with every single slice. Now if you really want, you can season the pizza to your liking and for this I used onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and a bodybuilder's best friend, sriracha. Now you're just going to put it in the oven for 6-8 to eight minutes and wait. But what are you going to do with those six to eight minutes? Well, what every sophisticated member of society would do. <laughs> Fuck! When the pizza's finally done, this is what it should look like. And that, my friends, is how you make a macro-friendly pizza. So be sure to give it a try sometime. Back to you, Brian. Tim, you gotta relax on the freaking Flappy Birds, dude. If you haven't checked out Tim's channel, I'm telling you, this is one of my absolute favorite YouTubers. I just found him a couple months ago, and I think his footage and, and content is absolutely awesome. So if you haven't subscribed to him, go on over there and subscribe to him. If you're not subscribed to me, scurry your ass on over to the subscribe button, because I got plenty of fresh footage coming. Lift heavier, die Myron, play the dubstep. <laughs>